So, I personally believe that one of the most important steps to becoming a better artist is understanding and appreciating the great masters that came before you. My family has composed a list of the 50 most important historical art masters that all new aspiring artists should learn from and be familiar with, because they are the ones who built the foundation for the vast majority of art you see today. Warning, this video is not for kids, it's for people who want to appreciate the greatest artists who've ever lived. The idea of safe mode blurring the most beautiful works of art the world has ever seen just feels like an insult to to the art itself, so I'm not blurring any do not blame me if you're disturbed with what you see. Also, disclaimer, I'm not gonna try and pronounce any of these names, so you'll have to forgive my accent. So, here we go. Donatello. He created David and Goliath. If you're wondering where Goliath is, he's right there. I know. Brutal. He's also the one who created the Santa Cross crucifix sculpture that you've all probably seen. Botticelli. This is the guy who painted the birth of Venus, Mars and Venus, and mystical nativity. Leonardo da Vinci. An Italian Renaissance painter, polymath, engineer, scientist, theorist, sculptor, and architect. This guy lives up to his name and he did it all. If there's one thing you take from this video, please just remember he painted the Mona Lisa. He also painted the Vitruvian Man, The Last Supper, and so much more. Albrecht Durer. This guy painted adoration of the Trinity, Feast of the Rosary, Adam and Eve, and the Four Apostles. Michelangelo. This is the guy who created the Statue of David, the Statue of Madonna, painted the creation of Adam and the entire Sistine Chapel. He's one of my favorite. He cared for the poor and the rich people hated him because he didn't put up with their shit. But they couldn't fire him because he was the best. The true artistic giga chat of his time. Raphael. This guy painted the Vatican, the School of Athens. Absolutely insane master of arts. Definitely check him out if you get the chance. Titian. This guy basically invented the color red for all historical art paintings. His red was so famous, the color Titian red was named after him. He's famous for a lot of things, but among them, Venus of Urbino. Paul Rubens, one of the most influential of his time. Some of his most famous work includes Venus and Adonis, Raising of the Cross, and the Fall of Phaeton amongst others. Rembrandt, this guy spearheaded the whole dark musky painting style that we all imagine, live in the hallways of evil 10th century villains. He drew the Night Watch, Descent from the Cross, and Storm of the Sea of Galilee. Johannes Vermeer, this was the photorealism guy of his time. His work includes the Glass of Wine, and most notably, Girl with the Pearl Earring. Antoine Watteau, his work Work includes Embarkation for Cytheria, Scale of Love, and Ceres. Francisco Goya. His best work includes Nude Maha, Charles of Spain and his family, The Parasol, The Colossus, and Saturn Devouring His Children, which I heard he painted because he was sad that he outlived all seven of his kids. So yeah, man, it's pretty rough. Katsushika Hokusai. This is THE Japanese art guy. He painted the Great Wave of Kanagawa, Sarumaru Dayu, and pretty much everything you imagine regarding traditional Japanese art. Eugene Delacroix. This is the Napoleon art style guy. His famous works include Liberty Leading the People, Horse Frightened by Thunderstorm, and Death at Sardinopolis. Emmanuel Lotz. You know that epic picture of Washington crossing the f***ing sea? Yeah, that's this guy. His works include Washington crossing Delaware, the Countess, and rallying the troops at Monmouth. Gustave Courbet. A true man of culture, he's famous for a woman with a parrot, the wounded man, a woman in the waves, and happy lovers. Edouard Manet. His work includes Genet. A bar at the Foilus Burgeray, Argentile, and Berthe Marisat with the bouquet of violets. Edgar Degas. His work includes The Dancers, The Ballet Class, and Young Woman with Ibis. Paul Cezanne. This man invented food selfies. His work includes Basket of Apples, Dish of Apples, Still Life with Apples, and a Pot of Promosis. Claude Monet. One of my personal favorites. He's the beautiful soft nature painting guy. His work includes The Truth of Nature, The Artist's Garden, and The Woman with the parasol. Auguste Renoir. His work includes Dance at Bougival, The Swing, and The Large Bathers. David Frederick. This was the epic nature guy. His work includes Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog, Woman Before the Rising Sun, and Chalk Cliffs on Rugen. Joseph de Crux. Now this guy was cool. He didn't like how everyone's portraits had no facial expressions, so he went out of his way to paint people in epic poses. Like, look at the 17th century selfie. Nobody was painting poses like this back then. He also made self-portrait young and Le Discreet. Sarah Goodridge. Now Sarah was the alpha waifu of waifus. Before women could use Snapchat to send nudes to their boyfriends, you had to paint them yourself and mail them instead. She's most famous for painting her boobs 
and mailing them to her man while he was away on business trips in order to encourage him not to cheat on her. Her works include Beauty Revealed, Studious Youth, and Portrait of a Lady. Thomas Moran. Good old Tommy set the foundation for pretty much all American landscape art. He's famous for painting Yellowstone National Park, Entrance to the Grand Canal, and the Grand Canyon. Cassius Marcellus Coolidge. You know Mr. Coolidge was cool because he loved dogs. He loved painting dogs doing normal things like playing poker, playing baseball, and playing pool. John Waterhouse. His work includes Boris, Lady of Shallot, The Magic Circle, and Crystal Ball. Albert Oblette, one of the earliest fantasy waifu painters. His works include Reading in the Garden, Talking to the Moon, Celine, Nude with a Veil, and The Beach. Vincent Van Gogh. Another one of my personal favorites, I'd like to talk about him more in a later video, but for now just know he's the one who drew Starry Night, Road with Cypress, and the Red Vineyard. He created one of the most beautiful and popular art styles to this day, George Seurat. His works include A Sunday on La Grande Jeté, Bathers at Asni Res, The Eiffel Tower, and The Circus, Alphonse Mucha, everyone's favorite artist on Stable Diffusion. His work includes Daydream, Spring, Zodiac, Slav and Monica Monte Carlo. Gustav Klimt. His works include Vienna on the Verge, The Kiss, and Lady with the Fan. Edvard Munch. You probably know this guy for painting The Scream, which was largely painted because his childhood was completely overshadowed by illness, and he had a personal dread of inheriting a mental condition that ran in his family. He's also famous for painting Vampire, Puberty, The Kiss, and Separation. Henry Matisse. His work includes The Joy of Life, Blue Nudes, A Woman with the Hat, and and the dance too. P.A. Mondrain. You probably know this dude as the square guy. Say what you want about him, but his art style is extremely fun and can be seen even in modern architecture today in buildings. His art includes Kant's Museum Den Haag, Victory Boogie Woogie, and New York. Pablo Picasso. You guys know I'm a big fan of Picasso. This man was a genius at abstract paintings and minimalism. My favorite story of him is some rich guy telling him, I bet you couldn't draw a woman in less than three lines. To which Picasso immediately responded by proceeding to draw this. Yep, man culture if I ever saw one. His famous works include The Ladies of Avignon, Woman, and The Dream. Edward Hopper, American realist paintist. His works include Nighthawks, Chop Suey, and Morning Sun. Henry de Chomp. He's most famous as the toilet guy. Not my personal favorite, but the fact is he made it in history. He's actually a good painter though, and his works include Nude Descending and Sonata. Aegon Shealy. His works include The Embrace, Death of the Mater, Lovers, and Lots of Female Nudes. Rene Magritte. This dude loved perplexing people. This is the guy who painted the eye made of clouds. His works include The False Mirror, This Is Not a Pipe, the Lovers, Mysteries of the Horizon, and Golconda, M.C. Escher. This guy started the whole trippy art thing. He loved visual paintings that tricked your brain. His works include Waterfall, Relativity, Three Worlds, and A Bond of Union. Salvador Dali. You guys probably know him because he's got a whole AI built after him. He's the guy who painted the melting clock. His works include The Persistence of Memory, Dream Caused by the Flight of a Bee Around Pomegranate a Second Before Awakening, and The Burning Giraffe. Frida Kahlo, probably most famous for painting her face on a deer's body. Her work includes Wounded Deer, The Two Fridas, and Without Hope. Francis Bacon, known for his raw and unsettling imagery, his work includes The Pope, painting 1946, Crucifixion, and a figure with meat. Jackson Pollock, you guys probably know him as the splatter paint guy. His work includes Poured, Convergence, and Full Fathom 5. Gillette Evergreen, an American pinup girl painter, a true American hero, one of my personal favorites. He was the modern man of culture before it was cool and started the whole sexy maid genre by himself. Japan obviously took his ideas to the next level, but pretty much all the classic poster girl art from all the World War movies was basically carried by him alone. My favorite works from him include Your Move, French Maid, and Bow Spirit. Jack Kirby, an American comic book artist. This man was kind of like the godfather of all comic art. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's responsible for drawing a lot of the earlier superheroes that we all read growing up. Zdzlobzniski. This guy was a master of surrealist horror paintings. Anytime you need disturbing, beautiful images, Zdzlobzniski is your man. He almost never titled his work, but his most famous paintings are The Flute. Obraz, and Stone Islands. His genius was unfortunately ended by a 19-year-old kid stabbed him to death when Bukensky refused to lend him money. Kinda sad, but his legacy still stands today. Edward Russia. He's an American pop artist. His work includes Standard Station, 
Oof and Honk. H.R. Geiger, Swiss biomechanical artist. He's most famous for his work designing the classic alien for the movie. His other famous works include Biomechanoidin and Necronom. Bansky, an English pseudonymous street artist. I don't know if this is true, but I heard he's famous for painting on the streets and avoiding police with parkour. His most famous works include Girl with the Red Balloon. Flying Copper, and Bomb Hugger. And that's the list. So those are the 50 most important artists that I think everyone should know. I really hope this helps you understand what artists are known for what style, and are able to generate much better images with whatever engine you're using. But as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.